What's up everybody and welcome to the Flight Test Tech channel. This is our channel where we're gonna take deep dives into products, informational stuff, overviews, and just give you guys our personal opinion on products that are out there in the community. The first one we're gonna start with today is our Flight Test MA Charger. This thing's pretty awesome and there's a couple cool features that me and the guys here at the shop are super excited about and this video, I'm gonna show you what those are. So let's take a look. Now the first thing when you open the box here, you're gonna notice one big advantage to this charger. It's small in size, so it's pretty portable. You can take it anywhere you want. That was a big selling point I know for me personally because I throw this guy in my book bag, I take a big old battery for my field charger and I can actually use this on the go. Plug one lipo into one side and I'm charging my other airplane or drone batteries right off that big lipo. So a couple other key features just by looking at it before we power it on. You'll notice that it has a USB out, it has a servo uh, connector right here, and it also has a turn wheel, which I actually like the physical turn wheel compared to the touch screen. You'll also notice that it says it takes two to eight cell. Um, most chargers right now that I see on the market only take to six cell. Uh, so the reason we branded this one is because it actually took eight cell. Another big advantage that this charger has is two individual fans. I've had other previous chargers in the past that only had one and the fan has gone bad and the whole charger's a big paperweight and I just end up going to buy a new one. So having two fans on this charger is a big plus because if one goes out, you can still use your charger without it overheating. So if you notice this charger's got built-in XT60 connectors, in my opinion, that's the most common battery connector. No need to worry though if you don't use that type. We also sell a squid cable that allows you to charge multiple connector types. Now let's get a battery on this, plug her in, and go over the settings and features on the inside that we're super excited about. Okay, so right off bat, you'll see four different menus. You're gonna see a charger, a measure, output, and settings. Most everybody is going to use the charger setting. So we're gonna go look into that one first. If you go ahead and take the scroll wheel and actually press down firmly, it will go into your menu you selected. So once we go into the charger menu, you will see you have five presets that you can set up. This is pretty cool because if you have multiple aircraft or multiple different batteries that are being charged at different amp ratings, or one's high volt and the other one's nickel metal, you can actually set up five different profiles. So right now, right out of the box, you just get one that's set up for LiPo. Now if you wanted to go into that menu, you just hit down on the scroll wheel again. And now you can go within that menu and change all the different settings. So this charger actually charges a few different battery types and it can charge those batteries at 300 watts and a max of 15 amps. Now hopping back into the charging settings here, you could change LiPo settings, battery type settings. You can actually go in and change how many volts that each cell is charged to. You could change the amp output. It can go all the way up to 15 amps as long as you have the appropriate power supply. Now what I like to do in the charger setting when I have this in my book bag, I'll go in and initially when I first fire it up, I'll set up all my presets. So I'll usually set up for one for high volt, one for normal LiPo, one for nickel metal if I have like a RC crawler or something like that. And I'll just leave that as it is. And when I go to charge my batteries, I'll just pick my setting and hit go. So we're gonna back out of that menu and actually go into the next couple of menus. And these are the ones that made this charger pretty awesome and made it one of our favorites is the measure setting and the output setting. Uh, inside the measure setting, you're gonna be able to test your PWM, your PPM, all your receiver signals to make sure your receiver is outputting correctly. It can also measure voltage, internal resistance, and your ESC. So this next menu, the output settings menu, is another menu in here that we were super excited about uh, because it has one important function in here that we're always using at the shop. I know Josh is, and that's servo centering. He's always looking for a servo tester. That way when he's building the newest, latest and greatest plane, he can center his servos and get everything flying perfect. So this charger actually provides power to the servo. That way you can center it or move it. So you can go in here and actually use these settings to go ahead and center your servos. And then finally, you have a settings menu. You can go in here and adjust all kinds of different things from your lowest input. If you're using a battery charger like I do, you don't want uh, the battery to go below a certain voltage, you can adjust that to the tones and beeps if you want them louder or quieter or different tones. 
Also, safe temperature and safe charging times. This way, if you do have a bad cell or something, uh, the charger's not gonna continuously, just for hours, pump juice into it. That's definitely a way you can catch your LiPo on fire while charging. You can also do different things like an idle beep, which is just a tone when your charger is done charging. It'll do a beep every five minutes to let you know that that battery needs to be pulled off the charger. And you can also do contrast colors all the normal setting stuff that you would find on any kind of device nowadays. And then as you further go down the settings menus, you'll have your normal stuff like language and it'll tell you your firmware type. That way you can check if you're on the latest, greatest firmware. If not, you can use the supplied USB cable to go online and go to Toolkit RC to find the firmware to actually update. That way if they have new features or functions that this charger can do, you can take advantage of that and actually use it on your older charger, but update to the newest firmware. So there you have it. That's the Flight Test branded ME charger. And it really is one of my favorite chargers. I just throw it in my book bag. I take it everywhere with me. If you guys are looking to pick one up, make sure you check out the links below. We're gonna be doing unboxing, overviews, and informational stuff all the time. So make sure to hit that subscribe notification bell and we'll catch you on the next one.